The demo I am about to show you extracts business intelligence from the web, also known as web intelligence. Many companies are starting to understand the wealth of intelligence the World Wide Web holds. If you are able to leverage public web data, you can gain a better understanding of a company's performance, possibly giving you an advantage in the market. I'm about to show you a demo built around the booking process of a commercial airline. Even though this example is on commercial airlines, the same process can be done for almost any vertical that has content on the web or uses the web to connect to their customers. Let's say I want to know how a particular airline is doing prior to a shareholders meeting. Or I want to study the effect of fuel prices on ticket prices. Then see how the rise in prices affects ridership. How would I do that? Using Kapow's RoboSuite, you can surgically extract that kind of intelligence and store it for study. In addition, you can see how we use Corda's CenterView product to show the data in a way that allows us to get a clear picture of how that airline is performing. The data extracted can be used by any BI product like Business Objects or Siebel. Let's start the demo by showing you the results first. Corda has a powerful performance dashboard software with visual business intelligence built in that collects data from virtually any data source, in this case a database, in your environment and presents it in a web-based browsers or mobile devices for anywhere at any time access. CenterView gives you near-time views into your company's goals and objectives through executive dashboards, scorecards, and company-specific data visualizations. What you're currently viewing is the visualizations of the data collected by the Kapow RoboSuite products, leveraging a particular airline's booking process. As you can see here, we have departure information to give us a sense of how many departures out of the particular airports, arrivals, along with ticket prices over a period of time. Also, we have the average ticket prices versus average jet fuel prices per gallon. So we can actually look at a correlation between jet, prices, jet fuel prices and ticket prices. Also, we can get a picture of the availability of flights based on destination to get an understanding on how this airline is performing. Also, we can click on, for instance, Philadelphia and look at a detail page and see the airports on a geographic setting, the size of the dots being larger based on the data that they have. Then we can click on the data and drill down further. The data that you see below here is the data that was collected by Kapow Technologies using our RoboMaker product. Also, you can see how Cord will allow you to sort this data based on how you want to visualize it. This concludes the quarter part of this section, and now we're going to move on to how the robots are built. This is the Kapow Data Web Server that allows you to ex surgically extract content without the need for code. What you're seeing on the screen is the development environment. Let's spend a minute to get familiarized with it. What we have here is the robot across the top. It is a series of steps that allow us to interact with the site just like a user. On the left here, you can see the actual booking site that we're going to be interacting with. The data that we're going to be using to interact with the booking site is right here. Our to and from information and our date, October 19th and October 20th. So let's take a look at how we interact with the site. So across the top here, we're going to go and enter in our to and from information using the first two steps. They're basically mapping the data from the input onto the site. Then we're going to do the date. As you can see here, we now have the date set for October 19th and October 20th. Once we click the, the button, we can now run the site exactly the way a user would to get access to the data.
Now you can see the data that we would like to surgically extract from the site. So let's spend a moment and take a look at that. As you can see, we have our coach and first class, our dates and times, whether we're stop, non-stops or stops, and how many seats. So let's take a look at how we collect that data. We basically interact with the site to get access to the content. I'm going to show you the data actually being collected from the site live. As you can see, the information is being surgically extracted from the site and put into the appropriate fields. Kapow allows you to take this data and put it into the fields so that when Corda is going to do the query against the data, they have the data in a structured format. For instance, you can see the flight numbers, the tickets left in total seats, the departure and return airplane, whether it was a return or depart flight, the date information. We also normalize this data as we bring it in as well. So for instance, we have the date being brought in as a date type. So it's easier for Corda to query by date. We have our return airport and our depart airport. They're, they're just strings. And then we have the tickets left in total seats and also the pricing. Those are numbers. So when Corda is writing the queries to, to format the data and sort the data and, and display the data, it's because Kapow Technologies, without post-processing, put the data into the proper format for easy consumption. This is the data that Kapow collected. And what I'd like to do now is show you the same data in the Corda environment as they have extracted it. And as you can see, for instance, when I click on average price, because it's a numeric value, it'll basically sort that without Corda needing to do any post-processing on the data. This concludes this demo of business intelligence from the web. Please contact Kapow Technology Sales for your custom demo.